Hello, and welcome back to our tip of the week, or in this case, my legal writing tip of the month. If you've just joined the Lean Legal community, I put out a writing tip once a month because I'm convinced a lot of the wasted time and effort in our law practices stems from inefficient writing. Fix your writing and you'll save time, effort, and frustration. I'm Karen Dunskinner. I'm a lawyer and process improvement expert, and I'm also a professional editor. If you missed my last writing tip, there's a link down below. Today we're talking legalese, the specialized vocabulary that we believe is valuable but actually annoys or worse, alienates our clients. Merriam-Webster's dictionary actually defines legalese as the specialized language lawyers use that's difficult for everyone else to understand. And the vast majority of time, you just don't need it. And trust me, nobody misses legalese when it is not there. I guarantee you, nobody is reading your contract and saying, hey, she's missing a save as herein above defined and some of those there and afters. Over the next few months, I'm going to talk you through ways that you can eliminate legalese in your own writing. The result is going to be clear, concise writing that your clients understand and your colleagues appreciate. Today's focus is redundancy. Lawyers often use two or three or even more words where one word will do. And it may be because centuries ago, lawyers were paid by the word. And of course, what did that lead to? More words. It's a bit like how billing by the hour leads to more hours, but I digress. It may be because early lawyers wanted to include both the Anglo-Saxon and Norman French words for clarity after the conquest, but whatever the reason, it stuck. Brian Garner, one of the great writers on legal writing, calls these legal doublets and triplets. And here are some examples. Cease and desist, give, devise and bequeath, indemnify and hold harmless, last will and testament, make and enter into. These are all ones that we see and write all the time. And Wikipedia also has a great list. Your challenge for the next four weeks is to look for legal doublets and triplets in your writing. Try to replace them with a single word, just one instead. For example, you could replace cease and desist with stop or cease or desist. You just have to pick one. We're all busy. No one needs to write or read three words when one word will do. And that's it for this week. Join us next week for more on building a profitable and productive law practice. And in the meantime, don't forget to get my editing cheat sheet. There's a link down below. It gives you my three-step approach to editing your own work. So you send nothing but your best writing out into the world every time. You'll find links to the other things I talked about today in the notes to this episode. And if you want more information like this sent to you regularly, sign up below. There's a link so you never miss a tip of the week. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you next week.